Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G9 Play and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, as you can see, the phone I have in front of me is locked. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it and I can use that or I could use the Google account. But this video is to show you how you can unlock the device without providing any of those. So let's get started. We first gonna navigate to the very first page so the startup you do want to connect to your network though keep that in mind once you've done so we can then back out and then from here we're going to select emergency call emergency information and from here we're going to select let me just kind of catch up on my guide we're going to select the edit button and then we're going to select the name where it says owner And from here, we're going to select the icon or the field where you have the option to add an icon and select choose an image. There we go. Once it loads our file manager, we're going to select the more option, which is these three bars in the corner. And you want to select photos. that again oh we need to hold it sorry so you don't click on it you hold it and this will then take us to the uh, photos application here you want to select permissions or not photos application my bad uh, more like the app info of the photos application in any case from here you want to uh, select like I did permissions then you want to select the choose uh, the search icon and search for settings now there's going to be a bunch of things that will show up as you can clearly see we're looking for the ones that will be most likely at the very bottom where it says just settings there's two of them as you can see uh, now we're looking for the one that has the open option so i believe it's the second one let's click on that and indeed yep it has the open option click on the open from here navigate to apps and notifications see all however many apps it shows you and you want to start off with android setup which should be somewhere at the very top and you want to select for stop and okay go back and then scroll down and you're looking for google play services so there we go google play services now here we're gonna select disable, disable app and for stop and okay. Next we're gonna back out. I guess we can do it with this button right here as well. There we go. And we're gonna progress a little bit through the setup. Now don't get a little bit too quick ahead of yourself. Um, uh, once we are on the Wi-Fi page, that's where we want to check if everything worked. So we already actually passed it. No, never mind. It's going to be after this, I think. Or not. Okay, so right now it didn't work. So what are we looking for is the button right here where it should say skip. So I'm going to try that again. Chances are I might need to disconnect from network somehow. So anyway, I'm going to repeat this and see if everything is still as it should have been.
Okay, so I think I might not have disabled the app initially, so I think that was my problem. Now, with it being disabled, it's gonna start giving me this annoying sound, so I am gonna mute it. And... Sheesh, there we go. Okay, and this time around it worked. So uh, you can see we do have the skip button, which is good, which is what we want. But before we click on it, we need to re-enable Google Play services. Otherwise it will crash and well, it won't work. So again, we're gonna repeat the steps that we have done at the beginning. For me, this is the third time that I'm repeating this. So hopefully you managed to disable this unlike me the first time. Okay, I know what I did mess up. Uh, as you can see, I have disabled Google Play Store, not services, which is what I, what I was supposed to disable the first time around. That's where the problem arose. So uh, I did say, I believe, Google Play services at the beginning, uh, but I just clicked on the wrong option myself. So that's basically what was the problem in my case. Anyway, um, so going back, all I need to really do is re-enable the Google Play services. So I'm gonna click on the enable button. I'm just gonna make sure that this is what I need to do. Just so I don't need to backtrack again. And yep, it is. So enable. And then again, we're gonna back out. Now from here, Select start, select skip, and once it starts loading, doing this, go back. I'm gonna go back again. And the reason we want to do that is when you connect to Wi-Fi, it skips this page, as you've seen. We didn't see the Wi-Fi connection page when you click on next, so we need to back into it when it says the don't copy apps and data or don't copy something along those lines. So instead of progressing further, you go back and it takes you here. And now we want to select skip and continue. So this will now not check if the device is locked. And what basically happens is it considers that it has the network. So it also considers the fact that it has the skip option. So everything should have been well, already checked. If it gives us the skip option, then it doesn't need to check. Um, so we basically kind of trick the device and now we can finish up the setup. So just finish it up with whatever is quickest for you. And once we have access to the home screen, there is one last thing that you want to do to fully unlock this device and that will be perform a factory reset of it done through settings. So just to showcase this, all you need to do is navigate into the settings, scroll all the way down to system, advanced, reset options, erase all data, factory reset, erase all data, and then press on the button once again to perform a factory reset of the device. Now the reason uh, this is the last step is because we have just kind of went round way around the verification the device is still locked so by performing a factory reset of it through settings this forces the device to remove this protection meaning the previously utilized google account along with the screen lock so this will then fully unlock your device and it's basically a crucial last step now the reason i'm not going through it on the video it's just because it 
it's fully automatic. Once you press on the button for the second time, meaning the erase all data, it just performs a factory reset, which takes several minutes to finish up. And once that's completed, you're taken back to the setup screen, at which point you can go through the setup in whatever way you want. It will be fully unlocked, so it's completely up to you uh, what you choose in the setup. So with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.